Hi, welcome to a video made by a blind person. Yeah, too blind to care what the visuals look like. Hi everyone, so I went to Walgreens this weekend and got these Walgreens protein shakes. Now usually I get the Premier protein shakes, um, the four packs, but last week there was a coupon for a dollar off a 16 pack of the Walgreens brand protein shakes. And I thought I'd go ahead and use the coupon because I'm just learning about couponing and getting the most for my buck and kind of turning Walgreens into my go-to store uh, to some extent. Um, so I was like, let me go ahead and try this. And really, a 16-pack is pretty darn good because in a pinch, I tend to grab one of these and go. Um, like, if I wasn't in the mood to make lunch the night before, but I'm about to go to work for five hours, I do get a little bit of a lunch break, and I would like to eat something, but I didn't go to the trouble to make a lunch the night before. These are good to just throw in your lunch bag and go. And if you're getting the right thing, it at least keeps your hunger at bay. But these were new to me, so I thought I would do a video about what I thought of them. A review video is, I guess, the term that I'm looking for. So, the first thing I noticed, I have one of these Walgreens nutrition shake plus protein. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. Maybe I need to find out and put it in the description below. But I have one of these on my counter. It's a pretty small bottle. I mean, it's a, it's a small bottle, but it's not overwhelmingly small. I think it's like eight ounces. But the first thing I notice is that it has this plastic seal thing over the bottle. You could try and try to open this like squeezing, like like turning it. You could try turning the cap forever and it's never going to open because this thing, this plastic seal thing has to be taken off before you can even try to open it. And the first thing I notice about this seal stuff is that it doesn't come off all at once. You gotta put some effort into it and in this case This is an audio-based recording, and even if it was video-based and I was doing this on my phone, I wouldn't know how to position it so that you could see it. So I can't really... I'm going to have to try to describe it to you. What I have now is plastic, like, right under the lid. I could probably, if I wanted to, I could try to open it like this, and I might succeed. But I'd like to get this piece of plastic off of here. And it's hard to get your finger underneath it and rip it. I mean, there's nothing to hold on to now. This is something I wouldn't have to worry about with the Premier. But the Premier is definitely expensive. If you were to get... Well, I don't know if it's because... I get them at Walgreens or if it's a brand name, but if I got 16 of these Premier things, in other words, four, four packs, I would be looking probably at $40, because if I remember correctly, I got a four pack of the Premiers, which were my normal shakes at Walgreens one time, and it rang up as $10. With this 16 pack, I'm going to have to take out scissors and try to get this thing cut off. Um, with this 16 pack, I used the coupon for a dollar off, and my total with the 16 pack of shakes and a few other items was $29 approximately. So I'm not exactly sure what the. What the. 16 pack of shakes cost specifically I may have somebody to look at the receipt or I may call Ira which is the when I am the unofficial spokesperson for them for long enough I'll figure out a short way to tell what Ira is it's a way for blind people to connect with 
sighted people through through a FaceTime like service. And those sighted people are specially trained to know how to help blind people and give them information that they obviously can't see so that they can do what they need to do. Anyway, I don't know what the total was for the 16 pack, but it had to be less than the, I mean, it was less than what it would be if I got 16 Premier Shakes because 16 Premier Shakes would have been 40 bucks and I got the shakes and a few other things for about 30 bucks give or take two bucks so little bit by little bit I'm tearing this damn plastic off <laughs> this is a pain in the butt but it's not quite a deal breaker yet we'll see how it tastes that's gonna be what kinda decides if this is a stick with it or a spend the money on the premiere and of course my my review won't necessarily be you know my opinion on this is strictly my opinion if I like this then I like it it might turn out that you don't if I don't like it and you try it it might turn out that you love it and you're like well I need a grab-and-go shake I'm gonna start getting these then now that I've tried them, oh, the fingernail cannot handle this. The fingernail is not a good way to... Um, and I like them fine, you know, to each their own tastes. I can't tell you if it's going to be enjoyable to you or not. I'm just telling you what my experience is. Of course, that's what everyone is doing when they do a review video, their own experience. Finally, I get a big old slab of plastic off that will allow us to open this thing. That took some doing. It took some scissors. It takes some time. Frankly, on a 15 minute lunch break or half an hour lunch break, you're either gonna spend your break drinking this and relaxing and making phone calls and doing whatever you gotta do or getting that damn plastic off. <laughs> and if you don't have scissors, I mean, if I had just taken this to work and not bothered trying to take this off, I wouldn't have gotten it off because that took some scissors. Scissors that I don't necessarily take to work all the time. Connecting. Hi, I have a Walgreens receipt here. First of all, uh, I hope it's the right receipt. I made a couple of transactions yesterday. Is this the one that has on it things like protein shakes and chocolate kisses and stuff? Okay, great. Could you look for the protein shakes and tell me how much they cost? Okay, so without the coupon, it would have been $19.99. Okay. Okay, I looked at the receipt with Iris' help and discovered that the... 16 pack of shakes was without the coupon it would have rang up as 18.99 without the coupon it would have rang up as $20 basically 19.99 but with the coupon it was 18.99 and that is still i mean a premier a four pack of premier rang up as $10 four four packs of premieres would have rung up as $40 even without the coupon, 16 Walgreens rings up as half of what 16 Premieres would. The question is, does it taste good enough to convince me to switch? Okay, I'm at work shaking this up. I don't know if you're supposed to shake this up or not, but I am. Hmm. Not too bad. Is there a difference between the taste of this and...
Well, let me put it this way. It doesn't taste bad. Um, I'll probably go ahead and switch to these just because you can get 16 for way less than what you can get 16 for. What's so special about the magic number 16? Nothing necessarily. But I work four days a week and 16 divided by four. That's a solid month of work. <laughs> Oh, this is one of these odd months with five weeks in it. But, um, it's not bad. I'll probably switch because you can get 16 for half the price that you can get 16 premieres. But you definitely want to open these before you go to work because that plastic is a frustrating little thing to deal with. <laughs> Definitely don't want to have to try to deal with that at work when you don't have scissors. But compared to, look at that, I'm like halfway, over halfway, done with this already. Um, it's definitely easier to pull one of those plastic things off one of those bottles the night before than it is to do actual food prep of a lunch, although if you want to do food prep of a lunch, you know, you'll probably get healthier, more variety if you actually prep a lunch for yourself. But again, in a pinch or if you're just not in the mood to prep one, you can just rip one of the plastic seals off one of these bottles and throw it in your bag. So. My personal opinion is these are pretty good. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Facebook and Twitter, especially Twitter. I pretty much live on Twitter. <laughs> um, check out Ira if you're blind or visually impaired. Sign the Do Not Demonetize petition if you would like people to stop having to gain YouTube celebrity status in order to monetize their videos through AdSense. I know AdSense doesn't bring a whole heck of a lot, but every bit helps, right? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.